There we go. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, full frontal lobotomy. Give me a hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Now, Pixie, we are, we are super familiar with you, sir, but if, if everyone could, please, including yourself, introduce yourself, let us know what you play in the band, and uh, plug anything you'd like to plug. Uh, my name's Michael. I play drums, and I'm plugging full frontal lobotomy. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. My name's Kane, playing guitar. I also plug full frontal lobotomy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Apparently, I get I get plugged a lot. Uh, <laughs> guitarist, and uh, it's it's your favourite swine. How you going, guys and ladies and gentlemen? Hell yeah, we appreciate you doing this, dude. I, I saw earlier when we were doing sound check. I don't think I asked you though, but what is the upright bass behind you? That thing is awesome looking. I I used to do an Irish band thing and. Um, yeah, it was good fun. It's um, it used to make lots of noise through the PA, so I filled it up with expander foam. So now it weighs about three hundred kilos, so I don't really take it anywhere. <laughs> Still plays good, but at home. Did didn't you play it when it was filled up? Yeah, yeah, it, it stopped all the the vibrations through PA's and stuff, but it just made it impossible to Whoa. fly anywhere. It's like three people. Genius, <laughs> absolutely genius. Hell yeah! So, what do you guys have set up for us today? I know you have something. Oh, we thought we'd um, play a couple of songs of ours and a bit of a surprise cover. Um, <laughs> hopefully, we don't get the stream shut down. We'll we'll try and play it bad enough that no one recognises it. But um, yeah, thought we'd uh, introduce you to two of the songs where the band started many moons ago with my new boys. This is um, our first lineup performance, and we're super excited. Really awesome. And when you say when you say. Uh older jams that you wrote you mean like a couple years back not any of the newer stuff obviously that with with christian or anything like that some yeah of the... it's a bit hard without having christian or shifty or or jared so um those ones yeah if you want to throw the clips on at some stage but uh, yeah we thought we'd play something where uh, the pig gets to sing and and can sing them without trying to sound like someone hell <laughs> yeah it's, I... it's where the band started too i love it i can actually hear the stream audio in the background but it's no big deal it's it's very light but um if there's uh Huh. Do, do you guys want me to to send you away and to get started, or you want to hang for a little bit first? Yeah, if you could, uh, done right. If you can give us um, a minute and a half, we'll yeah, take your time. Put the guitars on. Take your time. I'll uh, I'll spin the wheel. I think I owe a wheel spin, and then I'll play a jam, and we'll check back in like two or three minutes. Love your work. Hell yeah, See guys! P- please hit the like button, hit the share button. We're gonna we're gonna set right now from full frontal lobotomy. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna let them set up real quick. Cool. I'll say I'll, we'll let you take it away whenever you're ready. We're ready, young man. Let's do it. Hell yeah, this is so good so far.
get your pressure. Can I get in my chest, yeah? Shackles are ready, got to get soon. Get the pressure. To my game, I test ya. Shackles are ready, I can say. Can play my game. Hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah. You can bend the love, you got to fight it! Got you even in school, could be divided. They hate you for your race, hate you for your creed. Hate the way you live, think you're a disease. I know the reason. So go get, I know the reason. Go get, sing your loud attack, go the minorities. Do we hide our suit with the security? Cut of your hair, cut of your skin. We should have to stop. Just where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. song all about losing my sanity called Voices Inside My Head. Take my pills now. 
Cause if I'm good, I might get fed by your voices. Voices inside my head. Hell yeah. Well done, fellas. Well done. That was awesome. And you opened with the cover, too. The boys, open with the cover right there. Yo. Well done. There's a, there's a lot of background noise for some reason. People came running in from inside, and I thought, oh, awesome. The cops are here. We're being loud. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, is that what happened? Yeah. Nah, I was just overthinking uh, that people at nine o'clock in the morning um, get upset with loud music. But oh well. Hey, so uh, in, that in fun, chat man. in chat we were informed of a second camera angle. So I like left and checked out the second camera angle. It looked like you had a sound guy and all kind of stuff. And it's a little professional yeah, that, setup that, that, right that here. Was on the yeah, we did a little bit of a voyeur cam, so that that, that one is still on, watching us do the show. That's awesome. Oh. Didn't I, bro? Oh. Hell no, yeah. This, this, is, this is what you call a good sound guy. He's even telling me down. Shout out to makeup. <laughs> Shout out to makeup and the sound guy. Hell yeah, that, dude, that was fantastic. That was fantastic that was fun, for real. And and you said you guys Thank have you so much. That was kind of technically like the first set with this lineup. Is that what you said earlier? <laughs> yeah, man. Um. Last time the band played live was Easter 2013. 2013? Wow. <laughs> I just... wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kane was playing in one of the bands on the same show. We've been friends forever. So with Michael. But yeah, the last live performance, it's just, it's just been a studio band the last 10 years. Um, but just because of uh, your awesomeness and the, the fact that there's a an outlet for us to, to aim at. We thought we're going to put something for you guys, and now we're going to you know, hit, start hitting the circuit. I reckon that was fun. Yeah, it was so good. We're we're not worthy. We're it was not so good, worthy. for real. We're not <laughs> can can Michael and Kane can talk about the projects they were in previously before Full Frontal Lobotomy? Just of out of curiosity. Of course. There you go. Ah, the bands I was in. I used to play in a band called Patriarchal Death Machine, which was a uh, politically motivated hardcore punk band 
Um, uh, we played around Adelaide, did some national tours. Um, never went much further than that, unfortunately. My uh, singer and bass player um, just didn't like touring, which sucked. He, he wasn't uh, cut out for it. So uh, I said, well, hey, man, I want to do music for a long time, so this isn't going to work. Right. Um, uh, played in, you know, various... Uh, cover bands and tribute bands around Adelaide just to keep some uh, cash flow. Uh, I played in a doom band called Space Bong, which is some ultra slow, heavy shit. Um, seriously, look up Space Bong on YouTube. Um, and Space you'll be Bong? In for like Space minute. Bong? Space, space yeah. Bong, man. Since the for show. Sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. So 14-minute YouTube video. Check check it out. And uh, obviously working with, uh, with um, Full Frontal Lobotomy for the past uh, year. Really, like like Pigsy's mentioned, it's been a bit of a studio band, and this is my first introduction to them. Uh, yeah, it's been a year doing some tracks for Pigsy. I went, man, I fucking dig these tracks. It's uh, it's time to uh, you know bring this into a live situation, and that was our um, that was our first show together. And last night was our first rehearsal. So <laughs> go up. Well, well done. Hell yeah, <laughs> it was fantastic. And then came for yourself. Uh, same question. Um. Yeah. I started off in a band called, I killed the prom queen, sort of a hardcore emo band. Not really my style. I think a lot of us know (laughs) that band. I think a lot lot of us know that band. Slightly. Yeah. Yeah. We're not worthy. I was the original (laughs) guitar player for that band. We're going back like 99, 2000, pretty long time ago. Mm -hmm. But then I started my own band. We called ourselves Killage. But, uh, we're a bit like full frontal lobotomy, I think. Um, a bit more with sugar. It's pretty kick-ass. A little slightly harsher. Yeah. But along the same vibe, definitely. It, so I think, for me, it was a pretty easy choice to come play some guitar for Pigsy. But, Hell but yeah. I was a little short notice, so it was, it was sort of <laughs> nerve-wracking. A bit nerve-wracking, but we got through there. I thought we did all right. No, you guys, you guys did yeah, awesome. Yeah, and, right. So only one day to rehearse for what we just saw. Yeah, and because it was, uh, we didn't realise you were on daylight savings. We snuck an extra. We ran the songs once again this morning, so we ran ran them twice last night, once this morning, and here we are. Hell yeah! Warts and all. You can't tell. It was. It looked like. It seemed like more more rehearsals were uh, were done to get to there. <laughs> it was. Oh. It was great. It was oh, great. Well, well, here's well, here's another little thing. Uh, during rehearsal last night, we realised that uh, Pigsy had sent both Kane and I two wrong tracks. <laughs> so. So we had to rehearse the new tracks this morning. What? Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, was, I, was so, I was so worried about... What are the two, sure what the are the two that we the probably... And everyone was here. We probably play the two that you sent them. What are the two that you sent them that weren't, we didn't hear today? Oh, just another version. <laughs> I, I can't keep up with Pigsy's versions of the songs. Oh, yeah. I mean, all credit to him for for putting together some fucking, you know, remix after remix. Oh, I think it's amazing as a producer, but but uh, for, for people learning his shit, that's a challenge. He, he does that too. It like, was, he'll, was, he'll, he'll like world premiere a song on the show and then that version will never be heard again. Because like you said, he'll like remix it again and again and again and then... <laughs> no, I, th- I think it's cool. I think it's cool that we get like our own little, our own little uh, smoke out remix version. That's awesome. Hell yeah! Uh, oh, mate, w- w- well, you hear the new version, we've, and it's actually got everyone here on it. The new track with uh, Edjo and um, Adam Ramy from Dropout Kings and Kai and myself, and these two boys are on it. Uh, so tired. Got the mastered. The, the boys haven't even heard it yet. I got the mastered version back last night. Because I, I had a, a computer meltdown last week and lost a month's work. Um, yes, I had a backup on the drive. The computer melted the drive down on the way out. So yay for Max. Really quick, do um, me a favor and name drop again the crazy incredible lineup that you just mentioned on the on the new track. Uh, the new single has Edjo Bell. It has Adam Ramy of Dropout Kings, Michael on drums, Kane on guitar, myself on bass, and Kai, you're doing some rapping on it. Kai's on it. It's, shout out, shout out to Kai John. Let's yeah. go. Hell yeah. <laughs> threw, him in, threw him in the deep end on the second verse and said, "Say something." <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's so. Uh, any any ideas on when we might be able to hear that track? The video 
animation is just getting done at the moment. I'm uploading it tonight to distro, and it takes usually three to four weeks to process to iTunes. So I would say maximum, I'm going to push it for three weeks from today. Cool. So, so I'll, like, I'll, uh, within uh, the next 24 hours. So we get an extra extra present under our Christmas tree this year, is what you're saying? Yeah, and and then straight after that, um, drop in the new. Um, Again, with this lineup uh, of the new Jared version of uh, what's it called again? Hate is the weapon. Hate is the weapon. Shit, yeah. Oh, man. And, it's your song. <laughs> How did you forgot the title of uh, it? I, I, I went to bed at two o'clock and got up at six. I'm all over the shop. See, see what we're dealing with here? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. These two, these, these two have to put up with. That crazy pig. <laughs> hey, so Pixie, um, Trista reminded me of something that we've always wanted to ask you but never have. In the description oh. of your bio, it says you are a professional belly dancer. <laughs> Can would, we... you like, would you like to see it? You know we would! No. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, we tried. We tried. We tried. Oh, that's... You you read the small print that scares me. That, that's just thrown in there to be silly. <laughs> we we definitely I do for sure because when I do like research when I do the reviews and the episodes and stuff I need to I read all the bios because I need that information to like for where people are from and I'm like oh cool belly yeah Be belly dancer what <laughs> <laughs> that's funny I forgot it was on there I had it <laughs> took me then I'm there what oh. <laughs> you guys want to review a couple of bands with us. Down, man. Down. Hell yeah. Cool. Uh, we had left off right around here, so we didn't get a chance to play this one. It's this tight click, able to feel. And then uh, we'll see if Michael and Kane know a little bit of trivia as well. We'll get some questions going here in a second. Here ahead of time, as you guys know. It's just, it's completely random. Um, yeah, that trap section was so cool. It's come from nowhere. It's like, oh, oh, okay. I have my first question ready, my first trivia question. If you know it, go ahead and say it. You only get one guess. If you don't know it, I mean, there's only so many answers for what I'm going to ask you, so it's probably like a one in seven chance, but here we go. If you're a Star Trek fan, you might know this one. Though it's rare, occasionally in Star Trek, Spock gets cut. What color is his blood? Green. That is correct! What? Green is correct! Well done! This is going for you, sir. I'm a Star Wars fan. This tricky stuff's illegal. Now, while it's yeah. while it's a little early for you guys, it's a little early for you guys. It is five o'clock somewhere, and it is five o'clock here. It's five sixteen to be beer. exact. <laughs> and I will. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, drink up, brother. Okay, let's talk about um Pigsy. I feel like I've asked you this before, but I don't recall. How did you how did you meet Machado? Internet. Um You're an internet I, hustler. You know, I've seen you. Me. You're an internet hustler, dude. I love it. Yeah, you know what I'm like. Um I um didn't even realise he was on my friends list. Um so it must have been one of those late night, oh my goodness, ad and then didn't and probably years ago and didn't realise it accepted and one day in my feed I see Christian Machado. Wow. Okay. Oh, new band, Lions at the Gate. Have a listen. You know, there's some demo stuff. And and um, went, hey, dude, I want to get you on a track. And I'm expecting, yeah, whatever, fat boy. And um, he goes, just send me something, man. Um, so after I jumped out of my skin, um, <laughs> sent him some tracks. I sent, sent him two across. And um, within five minutes, yeah, I'm on that one. Well, so it just happened like that real quick. It was... Um, it's actually been like that with a few of the guys. Um, Shifty was a bit different. I was actually touring with Crazy Town, filling in on bass for Australian New Zealand tour. Um, but Jared, the same. Adam, the same. Just a quick inbox. Realise they're on your friends list and go, um, I want to jump on a track. And I haven't had a not interested yet. I think I think it might be a bit harder now that everyone's back working. But you know, the um, the pandemic definitely um, opened doors for guys like myself who wanted to collab with bigger artists because they were sitting at home. You know, they couldn't tour. I love the fact that, uh, I mean, a lot of people are not even willing. They're like, you know, they're just going to say no. They're going to be like, they want $10,000. There's no way. But you're just like, you know what? The worst yep. that could happen is they say no or it's out of my budget. And you know what? I'm just going to hit them up, see what happens, and then yep. boom, they're interested. That's awesome. 
yeah, I'm, I'm, it's it's just been such a spin out that there hasn't been a, a no yet. It's like, you know, I'm my own biggest doubter, so it it I might come across as a bit of a hustler, but I had to sit down and convince myself for a, a good couple of days to even send that inbox, and I'll and I'll write the the message and read it a hundred times. Is that rude? Is that being pushy? Is that am I out of my depth? You know, like I think everyone has self doubt. But it's just worked really well so far, and with the, these these boys here in the team, it's um now we've got the, the the chops in the team to lay down the beds and and you know make them go shit. I like that. We have a we have a question coming in from CJ. Uh, he wants to know more about your first CJ. gig, first gig with Segression. Note of that on on Facebook. There's a there's a setting somewhere in there. But I'm sorry, sir. Please continue where you're at. I didn't mean to pause you. Um yeah, I was I was always yeah, a massive fan. Um, I, I know, but I hadn't met the guys yet, and I was booking the venue that they were playing in Adelaide. Um, and lobotomy Mark II, um, because Mark One did a heap of recording, but we never ever played because they were playing in a uh, a local band, um, Borderland, and they were just too busy doing their own thing to to commit to a live act. So I, I put a live act together. Um, the band, the average age, age of the band was about twenty. And then I was 30, <laughs> so it was like the kids and and Papa Pig, and um, and went, all right, I'm, I'm going to shoot for the stars here, and put us up for the support, and uh, the band still had the yay or nay, uh, even, and I, I didn't mention, you know, it's the guy that runs the venue. I thought I'd be that cheeky, and they went, shoot you, let's do it, and so our first gig was um, opening up for Secretion at the Rocks. It was unbelievable, and we had a good gig. Everyone's there. Wow, man, how long have you guys been going? Uh, it's our first gig. <laughs> it was, it was like these boys, you know. Yeah, it's just knowing your players and having the right guys that that you sound like you rehearse, even if you've snuck in one or two. If you're and, gonna, uh, we, we smashed it, and from then on, it just it went crazy. I love how you're just like, you know what? Let's just have a massive first gig, and if we suck, then we suck. But if we kill it, then people will never know, and, it's, and then we don't have to worry about us playing in small front of small crowds because the small crowds would be easy compared to this yeah, big exactly. first crowd. Hell yeah. Well, the, the first ten, the first ten shows were like six hundred plus people, and then of course reality hits, and you got to go do a bar somewhere out in the suburbs. It's like, oh look, nine people, and they hate us. <laughs> Kane, can I ask you a, a prom queen question? Where, where is the coolest place? Yeah, sure. uh, when, when you guys used to tour all over the world, where, where was your favorite stop that you ever went? Uh, I totally got kicked out before we did any <laughs> world touring, like. but. Uh, Actually, didn't even go out of South Australia. He's he's our he's our house stoner. Yeah, and um, prom queen was straight. Give me a hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I see why it didn't so, work out. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's Kane? He's getting stoned in the band room. <laughs> they're like they're like either you have to give up weed, or you're going on tour and you're like you know what guys, <laughs> bye. I, 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 I'm sorry. I totally agree. Good call. You did a good call though. Got have- as far as uh, his vocals fitting in on on the track that he had sent him. Oh man, I, I felt I, I felt kind of weird when because th- that got done at the same time they were doing um, not not uh, only Human or whatever it was their first single, and it just sounded so much of his genre and the shit. Now I feel like I've stolen his his gig. It made me feel a bit funny at the time because um, we're not you know we're not as classy as those pricks. It's like you know they got Diego and. And um, a, a ruse, like man, they're machines. But um, yeah, as soon as I hear his voice, it's like, oh, someone actually, someone on YouTube. I liked the comment and went, I agree. Went, man, I wish this was a lines at the gate track. <laughs> 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 and I, and I just went, what do you say? You, you, I'm there, mate. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen on a song I've done on YouTube. But it was just someone being honest. Man, I love this track. I wish it was Alliance at the Cape track. Kane, <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah, I so got to... <laughs> uh, this is totally not related, but Kane, I got to say, I really dig your shirt, dude. Your long sleeve. What is the best Fallout ever made? <laughs> the best Fallout? Jeez, you're getting to my nerd side. I didn't think that was going to happen. I, <laughs> honest, I, I like number four. I, I used to like the other ones, but I, I played number four so much that game of show. Oh, can't yeah, stop yeah. it anymore. It's just oh yeah, I'm, me, I'm obsessed with it. I had I had all the DLC. <laughs> I crushed Nuketown Cola, the the whole that whole little area. Uh, <laughs> Wicked. All that stuff. Um, just a funny observation. I, I went out in the 
I went out in the backyard and started building all the guns and everything, like armors. <laughs> I just. That's I'm a <laughs> Man, he, he he made a predator mask. I was looking at the other week in his shed. It looks like something that you'd spend hundreds of bucks to buy. And he's there. Oh yeah, I just I just made it out of fiberglass and shit. Man, I'm like going, what? That is he's, insane. He's, yeah. he's crazy. He's so arty. You know, it's like so busy. Well, I haven't been playing any guitar, have I? So, well, you, you are now. You're busy am, playing yeah. any guitar. <laughs> That is crazy. Uh, we did. CJ wants us to play something. Hold on one second. CJ wants us to play something here. Let's see. Oh, he wants us to play something from Segression. Did we put this band in tight click? Yeah, we did. Uh, let's play. Let's play underrated. Have you? Ever, let me ask you this, uh, Pigsy. When you guys play more live live shows and people are expecting. The song was shifty, and, there's, and obviously they're not there. But you have a lot of those songs now. Are, are you going to be able to do like a different version live, or where you're doing yes. the vocals, or something along the lines of that? Yeah, no, I'll, I'm just going to have to become a parrot. And um, Shifty's, yeah, Jared's, yeah, Christian, man, he's a machine. He's going to be hard to rip off in any form. Yeah, that's really um, tough. But it has to be done. Like they're, they're strong songs, and yeah, uh, I don't. Think you can just skip over them and go. Yeah, they're, they're not actually here, so we don't do them. I think that's a bit of a, a soft option. And you know, I, I won't murder them, but yeah, Christian's going to be a hard one to um to take off. He's a he's a machine. Maybe you just have him like uh, like mix the little lower in like the hook or something. You can just go I'm, over top of it, something I'm, like I'm that. I'm thinking of, there, there will be some track. <laughs> yeah, it's something. But uh, let's play underrated. One of my personal favorites. It's a banger. They were massive, man. They were big. Uh, I, I don't feel like they're that big here in the States, but I feel like I have heard that before. Like, it has a very, like, kind of Static X, Power Man 5000 kind of mix yes. to it, as far as, like, the super chunky and, guitars. And they, were, they were doing it at the same time with the same production level, and all the big supports came through. They were on it. They were just the happening band. Uh, I reckon they got, they're still going. But Chris and his father own a tattoo shop, um, he's, and he does some of the best tattoos in the country. Um, so that's more his bag now. But um, bass player, singer, man, he was just the king. The whole band was just awesome. Can we give a shout out to your homie, two feet to the right, and his excellent sound work today on the set? Yeah, hey, man. Well Tim. done, brother. Thanks, Tim. Tim Ryan. Well done, Tim. <laughs> well done, Tim. <laughs> well done, Tim. <laughs> Our sound man extraordinaire. Yeah. Hell yeah. He saved us. It was, um, I was a couple of channels short to use my toys, and I'm there, Tim, Tim, can we lend all your really cool stuff with more channels? Yeah, of course. It's like, man. The usual saying is a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic, but this is a couple of channels <laughs> short of channel a picnic. Yes, <laughs> yes, I was, I was the short sandwiches. <laughs> I love it. Hey, I ate would, them. Would you, would you ever consider working with Edsel from Dope or... Uh, Power Man 5000. Oh, man. I don't know the gentleman's name from Power Man 5000, but uh, uh, yeah, oh, I've hit up Spider One. He hasn't read. He, he's got his. Um, he's. Oh, I, want, I want to do a song with him big time. Um, but he doesn't have um, his Instagram and his Facebook don't accept uh, messages. Ah. Uh. But uh, yeah, Spider's on my short list. I want to do a track with Spider. He's that's Rob Zombie's little brother. He's he's amazing, man. What about Edsel but, um, of yeah. uh, of Dope? He's doing stat, isn't he doing static at the moment? It's supposed to be a secret, but everyone knows. But yes. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> I think he's a little bit. That would be shooting for the stars. You know, when he's he's filling in Wayne's shoes, in in a mask, but it's not really him. Um, oh yeah, look, I'd, I'd cut my nuts off to do do a, some tracks with either of those. But yeah, Spider, I've actually tried to hit up. I've just got to look a bit deeper into management emails and stuff because um, all his socials have um, contact points turned off, which a lot of guys do. You know, you know. Have every, you know you got a million followers? You're gonna get a million inboxes every day. You go nuts. Michael, give me give me a band that you listen to that we wouldn't expect you to listen to, like a maybe like a country artist or some some hip hop or something that we wouldn't expect. What's something that you jam that you're almost afraid to tell us? Ah, uh, I'm I'm not even afraid to tell you. I, I love Dr. Dre. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Smoke weed every day. 
<laughs> that's, yeah, that's awesome. My bag, definitely. You know that uh, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, Snoop, and I think Kendrick are the halftime show this for the Super Bowl this year in the States. So that should be like an oh, epic, epic halftime show. But uh, you, you definitely get some Dr. As long Dre. As, it's not, as long as it's not like completely censored, like I'm thinking it might be. It might be, and I, I was talking to my wife. I was like, you know how they should end the halftime show? Is, is, is The very, very last thing, like after everyone performs, Dr. Dre should just go, hey, 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 and just stop and don't say anything. <laughs> and the whole stadium goes, like smoke say, weed every day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. I just sure. think that would be sick if the whole stadium did it. And he wouldn't get in trouble because he didn't say it. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. What do you guys got lined up the rest of the day, man? I know it's early over there. Uh, play the boys the new track that no one's heard yet. Um, I'm probably going to go to sleep because I got about three hours in last night. What about you, gentlemen? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I have a uh, sick girlfriend and a sick son, so I'm going to go home and, and nurse them. Uh, we wish them uh, a speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. And here I am just rocking during the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll be home later. I get to rock, baby. It's time to rock. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Kane, what about yourself? I gotta go home to the missus and the son, too. At least mine aren't sick, but, um, <laughs> you know, I have left them alone all day, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> They're loving probably it. got a few chores for me when I get <laughs> yeah. home. The garden. Kane, yeah. the garden. Yeah. <laughs> Make me a mask and hit the guard, damn it. <laughs> 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 my makeup's not working. I want a mask. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, fellas, the, the, the set was amazing. Uh, especially opening with the Prodigy cover. Well done. It was, uh, it was, it was really, really well done with, that, with only being three members and no synths and all that stuff. So you guys did it really well. Shout out to Tim. Sound guy over there. Handing you. Tim! <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks, so, a little, Thanks, a little morning hunch punch. Hands on. He's got a little Actually morning hunch punch. He, he's he's he, yeah, he's uh, going to work out in the ocean on boats when he's finished here. Oh, cool! Hell yeah! Everybody get some hunch punch. Let's go. Well, gentlemen, we appreciate you uh, stopping by at Full Frontal Lobotomy on Facebook, but they're pretty much on everything. Definitely go on Spotify, check them out. Pigsy is no stranger to the show. You'll see him quite often. Michael Kane, thank you guys. Also, that sounds funny saying it like that. Michael Kane. Like the actor. That's, you, that, BG. that's funny you should say that because the cameraman who was here before went, I've got a new name for the band, Michael Kane. <laughs> and you just said it then. It's, it's, it's under roll. Kane and Michael, we appreciate you guys stopping by also and uh, and hanking out with us. Thanks for having us. Cheers. You yeah, guys, thanks, you guys are a blast. Man. Enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, Thank you. We'll catch you soon, fellas. We're looking forward to the new track with Edjo and Adam of Dropout Kings. It's going to be a good one. Shout out, Timmy. Shout out, Timmy. Give me a Cheers, boys. <laughs>